Welcome guys, I am Parinita. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to receive regular notifications regarding the computer science topics and technical job updates. Hello guys, welcome to my channel to polish your CSE concepts with me. So, let's get started. In today's video, we are going to see one important topic of artificial intelligence that is propositional logic. It is actually a very general topic. You must be having general idea. So, today we are going to see in detail what propositional logic is. So, why is it basically needed? In AI, it is basically needed for knowledge representation. Now, the knowledge representation in AI can be done in various ways. Uh, it is not like proportional logic is the only way. There are various ways like logic representation, semantic networks, frame networks. There are various ways, right? Now, uh, today we are going to learn in detail about the logic representation that that means what that how we can represent the knowledge in ai logically now to represent the knowledge in logically there are mainly two ways the first way is pl that is propositional logic and the second way is fol that is first order predicate logic fine these are the two important ways that are currently used and now in this current video we are going to learn propositional logic in detail and in my next video we will be learning fol in detail fine so let's see what is propositional logic propositional logic in ai is the simplest form of logic where all the statements are made by the propositions now what do we mean by propositions proposition is a declarative statement which is either true or false it is a technique of knowledge representation in logic and mathematical form in logical and mathematical form and this proposition logic is also known as boolean logic why boolean logic because we know that boolean logic also deals with two values true and false zero or one so in this proposition logic also we are going to deal with two values true or false or either zero or one uh, fine so this is a standard definition of proposition logic we can explain what is proposition logic with the help of these few statements now let's see what happens in proposition logic we will see the detail about propositional logic, various symbols used in propositional logic and what are the disadvantages of propositional logic due to which we have to switch to FOL. Fine, we will cover everything in this video. Okay, so this propositional logic is mainly the logic or we are uh, kind of we are representing the English statements into the logical form with the help of some symbols the symbols are as represented here not not is defined by this symbol and defined by this symbol or by the symbol implies by this symbol arrow kind of symbol and if and only if we are uh, we are um, representing it with the help of double sided arrow so these are the five symbols that are most commonly used in propositional logic so what happens in that we are having some english language we um, kind of convert that english language into the logical form with the help of these symbols fine and the statements are such that after the evolution of those statements in the logical form we can ultimately say that whether the statement is true or it is false so this is all about proportional logic so how we are working in it for example you are having for example you are having any statement what we are doing in this we are having small small simple statements fine we are representing that statement in the form of any symbol like a b c like that and then we are logically connecting those statements with the help of these symbols getting for example let you are having two statements a and b i'm just assuming that i am having the statements first of all i will simply tell you what these statements mean for example i am having any statement a which says that um, and then we will take one standard example also but for understanding let me tell you say very simply that for example i am having any statement a that says that ram is a boy and any statement b that says that uh, ram likes cricket fine a is ram likes uh, ram is a boy b is ram likes cricket simple very simple statements now if i am told that um, where, how to use these symbols right first of all we will simply say see those now we know that okay let let me write here ram is a boy a is ram is a boy and b is ram likes 
क्रिकेट फाइन नाउ इफ आई एम टोल्ड दैट राम इज नॉट अ बॉय हाउ आई कैन डिफाइन राम इज नॉट अ बॉय विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस सिम्बॉल आई नो दैट राम इज अ बॉय इज ए सो इफ आई एम सपोज टू डी नोट दैट राम इज नॉट अ बॉय सो आई विल यूज द नॉट सिम्बॉल दैट इज नॉट ए सो नॉट ए मीन्स वॉट राम इज नॉट ए बॉय फाइन दिस इज हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द सिम्बॉल्स ओके इफ आई एम टोल्ड दैट राम इज अ बॉय एंड राम लाइक्स क्रिकेट सो हाउ आई विल डिफाइन इट राम इज अ बॉय दैट इज ए एंड दिस एंड राम लाइक्स क्रिकेट सो ए एंड बी फाइन ओके इफ आई एम टोल्ड राम इज अ बॉय और राम लाइक्स क्रिकेट मीन्स एनी वन ऑफ दैम कैन बी ट्रू बोथ कैन नॉट बी ट्रू फाइन सो राम इज अ बॉय और राम लाइक्स क्रिकेट सो इट कैन बी डिफाइंड बाई राम इज अ बॉय और राम लाइक्स क्रिकेट फाइन ओके इफ आई एम टोल्ड हाउ द इम्प्लाइज वर्क्स दिस इम्प्लाइज रिमेंबर दैट दिस इम्प्लाइज वर्क्स विद इफ समथिंग इज देर देन समथिंग इज देर this is very important this is very important to remember uh, when this implies symbol comes when the statement structure is something like if a b c then x y z if something like that statement is there in such cases this implies statement is used for example if ram is a boy then he likes cricket if ram is a boy then he likes cricket how i can write that if ram is a boy then he likes cricket whenever i am having if then kind of statement i will use this implies symbol got it okay now whenever like if in case of if then i will use implies and if in case of if and only if i will use double implies how uh, ram is a boy if and only if he likes cricket so in that case ram is a boy if and only if he likes cricket means it is double implies this is true if this is true and b is true if a is true they both are dependent on each other fine so this is the simple way how we are using this proportional logic so that's why we are saying that it is the simplest form of logic this pl or proportional logic is the simplest form of logic fine now let me tell you few things here these are simple right and or not they are sim they are simple now implies this if i am having a implies b actually uh, just for your sake of understanding i am saying because this is important to know uh, if a implies b is given this a implies b can also be written as a dash or b in case if you are told something like this you are given something like this and you want to evaluate that if it is true or not so you can convert it into this form and then you can evaluate true or false so whenever you are having something like a implies b it can also be written as a not or b fine and whenever you are having a double implies b it can be what a double implies b means means A implies B and B implies A. Both are there together. So this can be evaluated as A implies B and B implies A. Fine. Again, this A implies B can be written as this A implies B can again be written as A dash or B, and this B implies A can be written as B dash or A, and you can evaluate it further. Fine. So these are couple of things that. if you know them it will be easier for you to evaluate the statements okay so this is all about uh, all the important things about proportional logic symbols now let me take one more example quickly uh, for your better understanding for example you are given a b c three statements like it is hot it is humid and it is raining fine it is hot it is humid and it is raining for example these are the three kinds of three statements you are given now if you are given based on these statements if you are given more statements and you are told to represent them logically how we will do for example you are given if it is humid then it is hot it is simple if it is humid now 
again see how to represent it you have to find the pattern nothing else so it is given that if it is humid then it is hot now you have to find the pattern the pattern here is if then now i have told you whenever there is if then we will use a implies b fine here if it is humid is b and it is hot is a so it will give me b implies a got it okay now let me take one more example that if it is hot and humid if it is hot and humid uh then it is not raining see again the statement is if it is hot and humid then it is not raining fine again if you see the pattern if and then is there that means obviously implies will be there in my logical representation implies will be there now what will be before implies and what will be after implies so the first part is if it is hot and humid so when, whenever and is there i have to use the symbol of and it is hot and it is humid that means a and b so a and b will be there before this implies then it is not raining it is raining is c so it is not raining is not c so this is the representation of this a on a and b implies not c fine i hope you are getting it is very simple to know fine so this is how we can represent them you just need to know these symbols and how to use them accordingly so this is all about propositional logic now it is important to know that what are the disadvantages of propositional logic and what is the main difference between pl and fol actually you can say that fol or first order predicate logic logic is nothing but it is kind of the extended version of propositional logic there are certain disadvantages of this pl and due to those disadvantages we are moving forward to fol now what are the disadvantages of pl the main disadvantages of pl is one of the main disadvantages is pl does not represent any individual entities for example see we know that it is hot it is humid it is raining if i want to uh, combine the statements and i want to represent like if it is humid then it is hot getting whenever i am combining two statements it can be represented with the help of pl but if i want to represent the statement simply like only i have to represent this it is hot like all the um, all the days are hot since two months whenever i want to represent any simple statement like um, any if you want to use the quantifiers like all some few little like all the squares are having four sides some children are playing in the garden few people are aware about the government policies nowadays there are very few people who are aware about the government policies so whenever we are using the statements like this means we are having one single statement having the quantifies like all some few or any simple statement they cannot be represented with the help of pl this is the biggest disadvantage of pl that pl does not represent any individual entities so in such cases fol comes into existence uh, there are quantifiers you must have heard about them the quantifiers like this is the quantifier for for every this is the quantifier for there exist these kind of quantifiers are available with us in case of fol but they are not available in case of pl so these are the certain cases in which propositional logic fails and in those cases in order to represent them logically we are going to the next method that is fol so in my next video we are going to see fol in detail that how in fol we are converting simple languages into first order predicate logic fine i hope you have understood this very nicely so that in the next video we can understand fol also very clearly in case you still have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section thank you so much